Literature is a serious subject according to lots of teachers and students. However, why not have some enjoyment with the subject? We can create simple games to activate learner to make the learning process smooth and easier. So simple, PowerPoint has a bunch of great tools to create simple games. Today I'm going to make a simple drag and drop game for you. Here I made this simple game for my student to teach metaphor and simile. Student just have to identify the correct example and click on that. If it is incorrect, the color of the answer changes into red and disappears. If it is correct, it remains in the box. Let's learn how to make this simple game. Use your creative to change this game. You can add different backgrounds or colors, even click sounds. No, there is a saying the limit of the creativity is the sky. Okay, let's move to the PowerPoint and learn how to make this interesting game. First of all, you have to select a blank presentation. I'll, we can remove these two text boxes by changing the layout to blank. Now we have to add a background for this slide. Right for that, we are going to design section and in the format background menu, we are going to select picture or texture fill. And we are going to select a picture from file section. I have pre-downloaded this background. You can download this wonderful background in seekgif.com. Visit there and you will find a bundle of freebies to make your presentation beautiful and enchanting. Right, uh, in the next step, we are going to add the question so that we are going to insert and insert a text box. Then we have to type the question. I'm going to copy my previous question and place it there. Right. Now we have to draw the box in the middle so that you can go to insert and shapes there are many shapes we can we are going to select the square in the design section we can select the suitable suitable layout for this one right uh, to add the text we have to right click on it and click edit text so here we can uh, type drag drag the correct example here right next we are going to draw the examples around the box right for that also we can uh, again add a shape like this and you can change the layouts and designs here I'm going to choose this one and we can change the shape fill and outline here I'm going to take a thick outline and here also we can right click and edit text to add text here I'm going to copy the text from my previous presentation right and paste it here like that you can copy the text box and paste it and create again paste it to make six questions and place it around the box right now now we have a layout like this now I am going to add some animation for these examples. 
let's take the first example okay it is not a metaphor it is a simile so it is not a correct answer now we are going to add an animation for that one so once i click it i just want this box to move into the box in the middle and disappear it. right to add the animation i'm going to animations and first i'm going to add an animation using a motion path i can use a line for this one that you see now it moves downward so i'm going to change it i have to click on this arrow and move it right in the middle of the box right once we play it you can see it moves like this but you will see if you click anywhere on the slide it will move okay you'll see like this i want it to move once i click on the box right how we are going to do this we are going to click on the box again and we use this trigger option trigger on the click of and we are going to select the number of the right hand right now the animation only activates once i click on this box not any arrays you will see right like this now i want the box to change color into red because it is an incorrect answer then we are going to add animation change the fill color now i'm going to change the color of this you see the color is uh, yellow so i'm going to right click i'm going to right click on it and in the effects option i'm going to change the fill color into red okay now you see the color is red now i am going to move this animation right below the previous animation and i am going to change the animation as after previous okay we'll play it once it moves into the box it changes its color right now i want it to disappear because it is an incorrect answer again i am going to add animation in the x6 option i am going to select disappear animation right and it is also dragged right under the other animation so it will play after two previous animations for that i am going to change this on click to after previous right i can uh, add some delay for this one so it will happen slowly okay we'll check it second one you are my sunshine it is a correct answer i want this box to move right into the box and remain there again i am going to add an animation for this one similar as previously done i am going to add the motion path for this one right and i am going to change the motion path into here i can add some sound for this one for that one you can add uh, right click effect option you can add sound like applause anything you can change things according to your 
wishes. Okay, now once you play the game, you can see it is an incorrect answer, so it disappears and the correct answer remains in the box. Hope you enjoyed the game. You can make any changes to this one and uh, it's your creativity. As I previously said, sky is the limit for creativity. If you like this game, you can share with your friends. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. That's it. Have a nice day.